The chair body consists of just a few uh, parts. You have a 20 inch diameter pad. You have two straps that will flow through the pads. Uh, four saddle buckles and two drawstrings. And the pads have two different sides. You have the, the, uh, the smooth side on front and then the textured side on the bottom. And keep the textured side down when fitting the, the chair buddy. So today we're going to fit the chair buddy as a footer to keep it from sinking through the snow, uh, sand, muddy grass, rocky terrain. This basically creates a box out of your chair. Here are the easy installation steps to install your chair buddy. Make sure that the straps flow naturally. You don't want to pinch it where it's going like this. That's going to create a pinch point. Have it where it flows freely through. This is about how much I want. It'll be right about here. Slide the buckle up. Buckle, get to where it's nice and snug, pull the knuckle, the buckle back, it's locked, and slide this one through. Now you got a beginning, you got to start it. Make sure that's nice, it's not going to go up too far, is it not going to go up too far, is it good? Determine how the length on the front one is I will pull the strap between the, two, uh, the, the poles and what I'll do is because you want to have a little bit of a give on the, the chair buddy so it creates a parachute effect and you don't want it completely tight. Make sure the chair is always fully extended. You don't want it completely tight otherwise it'll put too much tension on these uh, uh, legs and it'll pull more inward and you want it to pull upward not inward. So I will pull the buckle to about like right here. So it's on the outside foot. And then I'll just try to get as tight as I can around there. Once again, make sure that the strap is not working against itself. See how the strap is. And sorry about that. You have a little bit more room on this one, on this side. And that's basically how you're gonna start it, then tighten it down. This one you want to get real snug. Get it real tight. And like any straps, they're going to have a little bit of play. After you use this chair after a while, you're gonna to have to refit this a few times. Now you notice how much more strap I have on this side. If you're not comfortable with that amount of strap, back this one off, tighten it up, and then go back and retighten the back one. Let's go to this side. Once again, make sure the chair is aside. I have it towards the end of the toe. See, so it seems to be like a good amount that I have for at least the, the tension going through, making sure that the straps are not pinching. Slide through, push this all the way down towards tight. Pull back on the buckle, it locks. Slide it through. There you go. That's about how much parachute you get. That's about how much fall it's gonna how much fall it's gonna have when it goes through the snow, muddy grass, or sand. And after a while, after you use this, the straps are gonna stretch. They're gonna pull. You're gonna have to refit this at base probably two, three times. Then after that, like any other back, like your backpack, or your shoes, or your snowshoes, then they're done. Here are your quick install instructions for installing the Chair Buddy as a footprint. To install the Chair Buddy, unfold the chair in place on a table or comfortable workspace. Push all the buckles to the edge of the 20 inch pad and keep straps at equal lengths. Place the Chair Buddy under the chair with straps extending to the feet of the chair, textured side down. Next, wrap the strap near the base of the foot where the two inner poles tie into the foot. Don't wrap around the third pole, the outer pole. Wrap the strap so that it doesn't cross over itself and use as little of the strap as possible. 
Keep the buckle snug and tight so that the strap can't come off the foot. Pull the strap straight over the front foot and place the buckle over the foot. This will give you enough slack to create the parachute effect, causing the chair buddy to lift up on the chair without pulling the legs inward. That's it! Here's an example of the finished buckle. Repeat this process all the way around the rest of your camp chair. When you're finished using your camp chair, leave the chair buddy in place and simply push up through the center of the chair buddy as you're folding the chair. Find us on the web at www.thechairbuddy.com.